is me and a very happy day six of Vlogmas. So that means that it is December 6th, which is St. Nicholas Day. Yay! So I'm going to first spill the tea on my tea advent calendar, and then let's have a little chit chat about the good old man in the bright red coat. So first off from our Plum Deluxe advent calendar, we have Berry Kisses Black Tea, and it was black tea, apple, pear, strawberry, hibiscus, and vanilla, and it was actually really, really nice. It had some hibiscus in it. Normally I don't like hibiscus, but it tasted pretty yummy in this. Then from our Yawn Brew calendar from England, we had day number six, which was toffee apple, and it had a lovely sweet toffee flavor to it, and a bit a hint of apple, so it was really quite nice. From our caffeine-free 24 days of tea, we had frozen raspberries, which it's all right. It has a nice ras sweet raspberry flavor to it. I think it's better iced than hot, but I'm not exactly an iced tea person. And then lastly, from our normal 24 days of tea, we have a new tea, which is North Star that they came out with this year. And it's a citrus mint tea. And mm, it's really quite nice. Normally I don't like mint, but it tastes really good in that. And that's what I have in my mug right here. Mm, I like to call this my North Pole mug. And there is a kitten, and please don't hop up here. There's tea. Please don't. Stay. Good Pippi. So let's talk a little about St. Nicholaus. So if you're interested in finding out why he has the name Santa Claus, you can thank the wonderful Dutch, because originally his name in Dutch is St. Nicholaus, and so shortened that is Sinterklaus, which became Santa Claus which I think is really cool. And another fun fact is that Santa is real and there is a kitten jumping, so one moment, please. Sorry about that, someone's going to be on Santa Claus. Claus, naughty list, if she keeps hopping up on stuff that she shouldn't be. Anyway, fun fact, Santa Claus is real. He was born in the year 280 AD in what is now presently modern day Turkey. and. Through his parents, he learned the gift of generosity, and one of his most famous stories of generosity was when three sisters were going to be sold into slavery, and to help save them, he provided their father a dowry for them, so a sum of money so that they wouldn't be sold into slavery, and it just kind of shows the generosity of that time. So sometimes to celebrate St. Nicholas Day, people will give little gifts to each other. I know it's still popular in Europe. Maybe someday the United States will get into it. Get your little fuzzy butt down from there. Um, just a second. She is being a very, very naughty girl. I think Santa Claus is going to check the naughty list twice for you if you don't stop being a naughty girl. Anyway, traditionally on St. Nicholas Day you can trade oranges and give little tiny gifts to each other. Like I said earlier, it is a popular thing to still do in some countries in Europe, and it would be a sweet thing for people to give little tokens and to remember the generosity of St. Nicholas here in the United States. And the kitten is being a kitten again. So to cut this historical day six short, I think a kitten is in need of a timeout, and I am too, so without further ado, I'm going to end it here and catch up with you tomorrow because the kitten is being so naughty. So, see y'all later. Bye! Hello, it is me and my tea. And a very happy day number seven of Vlogmas. Yay! So, let's spill some tea and then I have a quick little haul to show you. So, first up, for our Plum Deluxe day seven, we have maple pecan black tea which is absolutely scrummy it is black tea oolong pecan pieces um apple pieces cinnamon cardamom clove maple oh my this is so good that is what i have in my mug right now and mm, i absolutely love the maple pecan flavor so much i think i've had this before so maybe check out one of my plum deluxe videos up above so up next Day number seven from Yom Brew is one that it's such a funny name. This is Pumpkin Whoopie. 
Yes, so it's black tea, apple, orange, pumpkin, rosehip, and hibiscus, and um, cinnamon, and it's just a yummy, pumpkin-y flavored tea with a touch of the um, hibiscus, which is it was up pretty good. I mean, pumpkin whoopee. It's hysterical because in the caffeine-free 24 days of tea, we had pumpkin creme brulee, which tasted very similar to pumpkin whoopee, which... I just thought it was funny and I thought I would share that on day seven for two completely different tea companies, they both had pumpkin flavored teas. I mean, what are the odds of that? Then lastly from our original David's Tea, 24 Days of Tea, we have organic Japanese sencha tea or green tea because sencha means um, green tea. So it was good. Steep it very short though, maybe 30 seconds. Not too hot of water, otherwise this one gets very bitter. But if it's brewed properly, it tastes very, very nice. So, let me go grab the box to show you some of the goodies I got from Nerdy Ink. And it's on the other side of the room, so one moment, tease. Alrighty, I am back. So let's get into this, shall we? So this was from their closeout sale, and I just received the box. And I'm super excited because in it is a little present for my friend Christina, typical T-Rex, and I'm so excited because I can finally send her box out to her. So Christina, the last item I'm going to show is your present, so don't watch until after you've seen your box. Anyway, but for right now, you can watch. So first up are some pins that I picked up that they were discontinuing. So first up is Board, and this is the lovely wallpaper and smiley face from Sherlock. BBC Sherlock. Love that show. Miss that show. Next is the one, the only flying afford Anglia of the Mr. Weasley. And then the last pin is some classic books in a stack. We have Jane Eyre, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, Alice in Wonderland, and Withering Heights. Next we have some really cute stickers that I might put on my laptop. So we have books, the best weapon in the world, which I highly agree. Next, from The Tale of Despero, which I think is so cute. I love that book so much. Here is as great an adventure as ever I have heard of. And then lastly, from Doctor Who also. All of time and space, everything that ever happened or ever will, where do you want to start? I love that quote so much. I miss Matt Smith as the Doctor. Next, we have some bookmarks and prints that I picked up. So this first quote is from, or bookmark is from BBC Sherlock. On one side, it says, brainy is the new sexy. And on the other side, it says, every fairy tale needs a good old fashioned villain. From, that's Moriarty's quote. Love it. Up next, we have a bookmark for a friend. It is... The Mandalorian. And it says, let's make the baby do the magic hand thingy. So that would be fun for her. Up next is a Harry Potter bookmark. So on one side it says, not my daughter, you. And then on the other side, it has a beautiful picture of the burrow. And it says, it's not much, but it's home. And I agree. It makes me think of home every time I hear that quote. So this one's a bit, bit tricky to see, but this one's also from BBC Sherlock. So it says, a nice murder will cheer you up. And that's kind of funny because it's a f another Sherlock quote. And then the other side is, don't think out loud. It lowers the IQ of the whole street. Don't talk out loud. I love that. Anderson. Poor Anderson. Sherlock always is teasing him. More Sherlock stuff. Here we have another Moriarty quote. This is an art print, and it says, In a world full of locked rooms, the man with the key is king, and honey, you should see me in a crown. Mm. Gotta love Moriarty. This one is from Harry Potter. I really, really love this one, and I'm going to put it next to some of the stuff from my grandmother. And it says, The ones that love us never really leave us. So I'm going to put it next to some of her stuff that makes me think of her. 
Another Sherlock. I may be on the side of the angels, but don't think for one second that I am one of them. And that is from the Reichenbach Fall. Next is a gilded illustration, which is really pretty. And it says, books are a uniquely portable magic. Exactly. Next, we have a beautiful print of the wardrobe for Narnia, which I'm going to put out for Christmas because it always makes me think of Christmas for the line, the witch, and the wardrobe. Last art print before our big item is this. And it says, we're all stories in the end. Just make it a good one, which I love this quote so much. I find it very, very inspiring. And it just makes me do my absolute best. All right, Christina, turn away now. I'm warning you. It will spoil your Christmas goodies. And if you're watching this after you've received your Christmas present, I hope you liked it. Okay, three, two, one. Christina, bye-bye. Okay, everybody. This is what I got from my friend Christina. And it is a pin set inspired by Jurassic Park. <laughs> and this is the pins on the inside. We have Clever Girl. We have the Barbasol can with the DNA in it. Got a T-Rex there. I mean, just look at these guys. She loves dinosaurs. She loves Jurassic Park. I think she's going to love these. And Christina, if you're watching this after you've gotten your goodies, I hope that you liked them. Alrighty then, that's everything from my nerdy ink haul. I hope everyone has enjoyed their Vlogmas Day 7, and I will see you all tomorrow. And if you're interested in checking out another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel, and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!